Grace and blessings of the Lord be always upon you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today the 18th of October, the church celebrates the feast of Saint Luke the Evangelist and the gospel of today is taken from the proper of the feast which says about Jesus sending forth the 70 disciples to proclaim the kingdom of God. Dear brothers and sisters, if you would have read the gospel of Saint Luke, you will know the difference between the other gospels and the gospel of Luke, the speciality that stands with the gospel of Luke. It is very human, very compassionate and the style in which this physician, Luke was a doctor, this physician puts up Jesus as the healer is very, very beautiful. Dear brothers and sisters, Luke writes to Theophilus. He, the Gospel of Luke is part one, Acts of the Apostles is part two. So he writes these two books to explain to Theophilus the truths regarding Jesus Christ. If he is explaining the truth regarding Jesus Christ, then you come to know how much of the truth he has taken it into himself, how much of it he has absorbed it into himself. If John writes a gospel, it is the John witnessed. Fine. If Matthew writes the gospel, Matthew witnessed. The gospel of Mark was dictated to Mark by Peter. But the Gospel of Luke, Luke was in contact with Paul. But Paul even did not have, was not one of the disciples who was three and a half years with Jesus. So it doesn't matter when you received faith, how you received faith. It matters how strong your faith is. Your content and intent of faith is what matters, dear brothers and sisters you see the beauty that lies in Luke's gospel. Luke chapter 10, Luke chapter 15, the lost coin, lost sheep. Chapter 10 speaks about the good shepherd and all these portray Jesus' humanness, Jesus' is, Jesus is emotions, love for us so beautifully. So dear brothers and sisters, let's question ourselves. Am I absorbing my faith into me? Is faith an accessory, an ornament or a faith the principality of my life? Is it my wrist or the wrist watch? My faith is supposed to be my heart, not even wrist. It is supposed to be the principal mode, principal means, principality of my existence very existence. So dear brothers and sisters, let us ask God this grace. Lord Jesus, Luke who came to know you, knew you so well so that he can tell people about you. I who know you since my birth, I was baptized as a child Lord. Do I know you to proclaim about you, to become an evangelist, a person who carries the good news to the world. Today, as this day also comes in the month of missions, Lord, and we are in the extraordinary month of mission, we make this prayer to you that like Luke the Evangelist, we may also be instruments of taking your word to the world. Amen.